everybody, it is a little bit toy connoisseur here. I hope I'm saying that right. That would be so awkward if I'm saying that wrong. I'm here to review my very first toy, which is one I've actually had since January, and it's now June, and I've yet to open her up. You probably know what it is because of the title, but I like to pretend you don't know. It's a mystery. I'm here to review, and I'm probably saying this wrong because I have no idea how to say her first name, but the Monster High doll Issy Dawn Dancer. I don't know if it's Issy or I. Icy? Icy sounds better? Icy sounds weird, but if it's Icy, okay. But if you don't know, Icy Dawn Dancer is the daughter of a deer spirit. This particular character slash doll has been very controversial with Monster High fans because it's a Native American inspired character and what Mattel slash Monster High did was kind of combine a lot of tribes with like her clothing and that makes sense to me because actually I, I did look this up by the way the deer spirit is a myth with a lot of tribes so they just kind of combined a lot of designs and stuff with the different tribes all into one so that they're kind of representing a bunch of them but a lot of people think this is incredibly racist but a lot of Native Americans actually spoke up and say well, I really like this it's a good doll good outfit a good character it really portrays more than one Native American tribe but again there are some that don't like this so whether or not you like this doll I mean that's your own personal opinion you're entitled to your own opinions I think it's a good thing to represent a whole bunch of tribes at once because there's a lot of tribes and you don't want to just single out one tribe when you could just you could show off a lot of them like I said the deer spirit is actually a myth within a bunch of tribes I guess the story is that she um, travels around with her tribe I believe and then and just had a vision that she's supposed to go to Monster High, so that is why she's there. She's part of the Brand Boo Students, which also has, I know I'm saying this wrong, but Kajersi Trollson. She's a troll, obviously. She's a video gamer. Can't wait to get her. And Betsy Claro, which is a white bat. They're also students that go to Monster High. It's been five months since she's just been spinning around in the box. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox her and review her for you. Okay, so she's out of the box and free. I'm gonna go through her accessories first. So obviously she comes with a stand and a base. Very helpful for dolls, especially if you're like me where you like to put them on the stand and have them posed in some certain way. I don't play with my dolls. Most I do is take photos and I put them all together. Definitely a good doll for any collector if you just wanna put her on her stand. She also comes with the classic Monster High brush and she also has her own personal diary which has got entries that'll tell you more about her. I have not read through it, but I will be reading through it. Should be exciting, because I love learning about the characters. Now on to the doll herself. Itzy, she's got brown skin. She's got little dots on her face here. She's also got deer ears, deer antlers, and then she's got a little headdress here. Her antlers are connected to this, and she's also got dream catchers. They hang down the side. Her top is mostly red. It's got some designs. The designs themselves represent present I would say Native American apparel. She also has, it's a little hard to see, but she's got a yellow necklace on her arms. Both of them here, she's got a red and a blue triangle bracelet, which is pretty interesting and very cute. Then she also, she comes with a little handbag. It's got a dream catcher on it. I love dream catchers. I just think they're so pretty. So this is really cute for her to have for a bag. It's hanging on her hand with a little plastic piece. If you give the dolls more to play with them, I would say go ahead and cut that off but if you get them more for like show or just to collect them I'd say keep that on there. I have experienced this in the past where the accessories are connected to them and you take that part off the little plastic pieces that connect them to the dolls and they're very hard to stay on them. Bags and head pieces. If you want it to stay on there nice keep it on the plastic piece. I know it doesn't look great but it'll keep it connected at least. Down to her pants. The pants actually if you take the shirt off the shirt kind of goes over it but the pants itself it's actually more of a one piece and I will go ahead and show you that 
it is. It's a, a one piece here, and then this is kind of like just goes over the top, kind of like a poncho, which is really cool. The pants itself, they do have like what I would call the Native American design, the different lines and all the colors. The base color of the pants, or the pantsuit, I guess I'll say, is black, and then it's also got little skulls, the Monster High skulls. Love how they worked that in, really cute. So in a way, it's kind of like having two outfits. They don't make alternate outfits anymore, Monster High doesn't. They used to for some of the original characters, where you could just get different outfits for the dolls. And then her boots, she's got in the back, these aren't really attached very well, and I will go ahead and show you that, but in the back, see like the pants are kind of coming out from the back. They're not one whole boot. At least if you wanted to take them off, it would be easy because it's not fully connected in the back, which for me, since I collect them, I don't really like how that looks. But then again, I'm not going to be really looking at the back of her boot. Her boots have, I hope I'm saying the right word, they've got like fringe on it and it's got three layers of fringe and then she's got another dream catcher on the front, like right over the top of her foot. At the bottom, you can see she's got deer hooves peeking out, which that's really cute. And then she's got a heel on the boots as well. If you wanna take a closer look at her face, it does remind you of a deer. If you've ever seen somebody do deer makeup, that's kind of how they do it with the brown and then the white around their eyes, the black nose, and then they'll usually have spots around their cheeks and their face. And then her hair, I just remembered, I didn't go over her hair. Her hair is a really pretty turquoise. One other cool detail that they added on was that she's got an earring and one ear. So she has pierced ears. Her other ear does not have an earring, but it's got a hole. Well, I mean, it's not a clear hole, but it's a little indent to show that she does have pierced ears, both ears, even though she has no earring in it, which I think is a really cool detail. Mattel really went out of their way to make this doll really good. Even though she's gotten a lot of backlash from a lot of fans, she's a really cute doll. She's done very well. Her face is great. Her outfit is adorable and it's very colorful. I would definitely say this doll is a great doll to add to your collection. She's really unique. Her outfit is absolutely gorgeous. It's a really cool design. So really, really cute. I absolutely I love her. I feel like they really did their research. I didn't even know about the deer spirits and I grew up in grade school learning about all sorts of Native American myths. That was just something that interested me and we read a lot about it in grade school so for me to know a lot about the myths and never have heard of the deer spirit they really did some research. They chose a really good and unique myth I think. So let me know what you think of this toy and the character, the doll. Please keep your comments respectful. You're allowed to have your own opinion, and I definitely welcome different opinions. But please don't harass anybody else for having a different opinion than you, whether they agree that this is a good doll and a good character, or whether they disagree. I welcome debate and discussion, just please keep things respectful. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I hope to bring awesome videos to you in the future. Let me know how I did for my very first review. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!